The newest beta for Minecraft Bedrock Edition removed everything pertaining to the Glow Squid, but in return, it gave us a new command and toggle known as Game Test. So today, we're going to be looking at this Game Test command and seeing exactly how to use it and what it does in your worlds. So without any ado, let's get right into the video. For my brief look in the previous beta video, there is a lot of things going on for this command. And this is something that's going to be mostly for testing. I'm not sure what kind of testing that you might be doing. But whatever testing you're doing, this command will certainly come in handy. So if I come inside of here and I type in game test. You do need to activate the toggle within your world settings first before you can use this command. So try to keep that in mind. But we do ourselves game test. Then we have clear all, which will clear all the events going on. We have create. We have position, run, run all, run these, and run this. We're going to begin with create. So this will create a test structure. So at the scene, we have slash create. And then you can type in whatever name that you want. For me, I'm going to put in test. And then I'm going to type in any number that I want. I'm going to go for 2, 2, and 2. The moment I press enter, here is our test structure. So as you can see, we went ahead and typed in 2, 2, 2. So we have 2 forward, 2 back, and 2 up. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to put any blocks above there. It's only going to do one layer only. But that's basically it for how that command works. We have position. Now, this one is self-explanatory. The moment I press enter, it's going to say can't find the block that you're looking at. So if I look at a block and then I do it, it then tells you can't find a structure block that contains the targeted position of whatever coordinates that is. Now this is the command block that they're talking about. If I go ahead and look at it, then it's going to say position relative to test 0, 0, 0. If I do slash game test clear all, press enter, all of the structures that we had originally, they are now poof. They are now gone completely. We have also the next command which is going to be runs. So for run, we have all of these crazy things. But let's go ahead and do concrete solidifies in deep water. Press enter. Then as you can see, we have ourselves a little test area that's going to give us a beacon. And if it passes, then it'll turn green. If it does not pass, then it will turn to red. But of course, this one is quite simple to actually test out because it's just concrete that's solidifying inside of water. So we've got concrete solidifies in shallow water, solidifies next to water, concrete WTR chest. Not sure what that is. Let's go and see what this is. So if I press enter, oh, it's just concrete that breaks on the chest. There's nothing inside the chest. But I guess if you want to test concrete breaking on something, then that's going to be the way to do it. If you do want to see every single test for the blocks, then you can just simply type in block tests right after run. And then you can find all the different tests that is going for blocks. Explosion drop location. Let's go and test out this one. So it causes an explosion. Wait, did I just die in creative mode? I think I just died in creative mode. How in the world does that happen? Okay, the test failed. I mean, I go and type that in. Okay, um, I'm not sure what happened there. That was a little bit strange. But it looks like we still some TNT, and if it explodes, then it's going to pass the test. These are barrier blocks, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So I'm guessing the only way that you're going to be able to do this is if you go inside of there, then you can just simply go and activate the TNT. But I have TNT explodes off, so it's not going to do the test. We have sandfall boats, which this one's just boat instead of sand. I'm not sure what that one's all about. Then we have turtle egg survive item and turtle egg survive XP. So I'm guessing that those are going to be like tests that's going to be seeing if turtle eggs will survive an item on top of it or if XP is on top of it. Debug tests always fail. So that's going to be like the beacon, I believe. Four villagers, one door. So this one is basically going to be seeing if the villagers will go through the doors and into the bed. The first time I tried this, it did end up failing because one of the villagers, they were being very, very bad and did not want to go to bed. But all these villagers, they went straight to bed. So, you know what? They all pass the test. We have a minecart test, which is seeing if it'll turn or not. We have zombie burn. So, that's going to be basically the zombie burning. So, very boring. We have pathfinding test vertical. So, if I press enter, let's go ahead and see what this one's all about. So, the villager is just going to be pathfinding back and forth in a vertical formation. So, those are all vertical right there. So, if I just go ahead and come down here, I'm just going to type in 16. And then, this one's just going to be seeing how a mob will pathfind 
in certain scenarios. And I think that's going to be it for the run commands. Run all. So we have block test, which will run every single block test. We have every single debug test, and so on and so forth. I'm not sure what the suite is, but we'll look at that in a moment. But for the time being, let's do all the block tests. So these are going to be all the different tests that's going to be going on for the blocks. Debug tests, so it's just going to be the two different beacons. So we have one beacon there and one beacon there. I mean, there is a lot of interesting things going on for this. And I'm not really too sure about how this would be handy for anybody outside of just wanting to test things out. But right there, we have ourselves all the different mob tests. There's only one mob test. So I'm not sure why they need a command for that. But maybe in the future, they will probably be adding on to this and introducing even more commands. Then we have the pathfinding tests. So let's go ahead and see those right there. So there is a lot of tests. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at all of these tests. There is a lot of them. Oh, they're all, I mean, you know what? If you wanted an easy village for farmers, then you know what? This would be the command just for that. We had over 60 tests right there. So let's go and see what sweet is. If I press all, then what's this one do? It activates every test. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, as long as it don't activate all those 60 tests over there, then I think we're absolutely fine. Then we have broken. I press enter. Oh no, 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 not the pathfinding test again. So it looks like for native, it's just gonna spawn in a few of these. And I think I may have activated all the tests again. I really hate that pathfinding test. So then we have scripted. I press enter. And it's gonna do the same thing yet again. All these different commands, they all act the same, but they activate certain block tests depending on what they are. Let's go ahead and see we've got run these. Could not find the instruction blocks. I think that if you're in those proximities, then it's gonna redo those tests. Then for run this, I think this one does exactly the same as well. So could not find in so that one is for a radius of 15 blocks for structure blocks, and then the other one was 200 block radius. So if you only want to activate a test that is in a certain radius, then those are the commands for you. And that is it for this entire command. And so for my opinion, after testing out with everything. This is a very interesting command. As I mentioned earlier, outside of just testing random things, I'm not sure how this is gonna benefit anybody else that's playing the game. But then likely this is gonna be things that people could play around with if they want to test certain things out. Like if they want to see it like a bug weapon or not, then those are gonna be the commands just for you. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of this command. And if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, then please leave a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Hope you have a logical day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.